Hey guys, Jacob with Jacob Comics. All right, we have a really fun video. Today we're gonna be opening some Walmart packs. I have five old <laughs> Walmart packs that are all Marvel. All five are old Marvel. All right, let's get into it. I hope you guys are ex as excited as I am. Now to start with, first up we have a uh, on the front cover, Symbiote uh, Spider-Man Alien Reality number one with Spider-Man looking super, super cool in his, uh, in his black suit there. And I'm just ever so carefully going to open these up. Always the most fun things to open, right? I'm being sarcastic because... <laughs> You don't want to damage the books. All right. There we go. All right, so first up, we have the Symbiote Spider-Man Alien Reality number one, Walmart uh, variant edition. And then Invincible Iron Man, nope, Captain America 695 with an Invincible Iron Man homage cover, uh, lenticular. And next up, there was a Marvel Comics Presents number one second printing uh, it says featuring uh, Wolverine Captain America and Namor thicker book I'm not sure second printing as as always we'll go over at the end if I found anything that was over five dollars and was like a standout uh, so next up here this front cover we have a new mutants number one uh, so like I said, they're older. So again, we will carefully get into this one. I know I'm sorry it takes me some time, but I don't like to I don't like to damage my books up. Okay. That is a way. Alright, we have a new mutants number one. Nice thick book. I love that front cover too. We got uh well I guess if you notice I usually pick them up for the front cover and then maybe there's something cool inside. Um so there's a new mutants number one. The really cool cover with magic and all her friends. Got Warlock there. Sunspot. It's cool. All right, so the hidden, what was hidden inside? Oh, that is a thick book. We have a Secret Wars number one variant edition. Look at that, that's cool. We got Iron, uh, no, no Iron Man. We got uh, Miles here, uh, Jane Foster, Thor, um, Incredible Hulk in the background, and uh, Falcon as Captain America right there. And then we have a Marvel Knight. Number one. So don't know. Ah, second printing as well. Sorry, I'm looking at the cover. It's kind of cool. It's like a, it's like Target practice. There's Daredevils in the center, and it, and all the rings are all different Daredevil stuff. All right, let's. 
not stack too many books on top of each other. Just want to move some of these. Alright. And then we can open the rest. Okay, so the, on the front cover of this one, we had an Amazing Spider-Man number 33. Uh, it was an issue I, I didn't have from, the, from that run there. And I just like that front cover. It's the Walmart variant of the of the of it, and uh, just it's just cool with all the different um, bad guys from Spider Man's uh, Rogues Gallery and maybe Friendship Gallery because there's Black Cat on there too, you know. So it's like, and it's kind of a it's kind of a a, a more uh, painting style cover and I just I liked that one so I was like that's cool it's older maybe there's some maybe there's something in there that that's uh that I didn't have that's rare something I didn't you know what I mean you're like something I didn't pick up that I wished I had <laughs> let's see if we'll find any of those looks like we got a lenticular in here and a stubborn bag. There we go. <laughs> All right. So first up, we had that amazing Spider-Man 33 with the uh, with the cool cover there that I was talking about. Oh, those go there. And yeah, I, I paused for a second because I was like, "What is this?" Wow, I haven't seen it before. It seems like it's even even older than the books that are that I'm getting in here though. But it's an original sin number two. Gosh, imagine if it was an amazing Spider Man four from that era. <laughs> okay. That's cool though. Original sin number two. This really weird I I Thor's got an eyeball cover. And then we got this lenticular homage to, it's like it's Avengers 672, and it's an homage to Avengers 53. So that's awesome. Maybe we'll put that there. And we got two more left. Let's do this one here. On the front cover, we got Maestro number one, War and Pax. So, this is the older one. Like the one that they just came out with recently was uh, was like World War M, I believe was the is the name of that. This is the uh, this is the one from a while ago. Yeah, and it, and see, even like I was talking about last time. It's got a different plastic, like a definite harder plastic on it. It's like they switched to a, a thinner plastic at some point. I, d I dislike trying to open these with this harder plastic. It's really bad. Hmm. Ah, I have solved the problem. I got this open without damaging the books. There we go. Okay. What do we got? So we got a Maestro number one, War and Pax. That was on the front cover. Okay. So that's pretty cool. And... A New Mutants number 10 first printing and I I love that cover that is so that is so cool if you don't know who that is too that's the that's that one girl that's uh, got an eye crazy eye that they they fixed her recently that is that is cool 
No, it's uh, here we got looks like a Black Panther 166 uh, Incredible Hulk 340 homage cover. Lenticular. It's pretty cool with the Hulk homage, actually. I, I kind of like that one. That's probably one of my favorite, uh, favorite of those lenticulars I've seen. I guess that's where they get you, right? When they, when they do a homage of, of a book you wish you had, right? And you're like, oh, that that's actually a really cool lenticular. <laughs> so this one opens super easy. This is the last, the last one, guys, and then we'll. And then we'll uh, we'll dive in and see if there was anything, or maybe there was nothing. I don't know. We'll find out, right? So on the front of this one, we had a Iron Fist Art of the Dragon, and that's that's a super cool cover. And hmm. This might be the, this might be the one maybe I don't recognize that cover is it like is it is it a did I get a one in 500 I guess we're gonna find out in the next segment we got a black widow number one with a that's just a really sweet cover isn't it that is really cool actually carefully set you by yourself because maybe you're something who knows and the last one here it's another lenticular that I haven't seen. The America, maybe? Number eight? With a Spider-Man homage to Spider-Man uh, 39. It's another one. I like this one, too. Yeah, I don't know how well it gets on camera. Um, but yeah, that, I like that one, too. All right. <laughs> let's I'll, I'll i'll look through all the books and we'll find out in the next segment uh if i found any anything that was over five dollars all right we'll see you there guys all right guys i'm back um so i went through the issues and i i think i kind of i kind of got possibly blanked i didn't find anything too crazy but we'll go over the ones that were over five dollars uh, so this one, it had one sale for $13, uh, like a Walmart variant cover. I, I thought it was cool. I don't know. Like I said, I didn't think it was worth a bunch of money. I just thought it was cool. Like I liked the cover. But yeah, somebody, somebody else did, but only one other person. <laughs> uh, this one, this one actually had a, had a lot, like a lot more movement than I expected. About ten to fifteen dollars. Uh, you know, there was some going for like five or six, so not not too bad. But yeah, it's kind of a really cool uh, homage to the Incredible Hulk three forty there. Um, and this is another one. Like some of the lenticulars were actually popular. I think if it was a really cool issue, people like. Um, and this one also, like. I, I so there wasn't like a lot of info but this one looked like confused me a little bit because they're saying it's a first appearance in this uh, America number eight and this is like the uh, lenticular homage and so people had like CGC sales for like four hundred dollars for the one in twenty five variant of this but I don't think a lot of people were putting together that this is also the same first appearance as the other one that's selling for a lot. But anyways, so yeah, it wasn't selling for a lot, but I, I think I think it might be something. I mean, it's still the first appearance, and it's like a lenticular homage version of of the of it. That's kind of a cool one. It's homaging the uh, Amazing Spider-Man thirty-nine. So, and this is another one. This one was a, a 1 in 25 uh, variant by Gucci. I apologize if I mispronounced that correctly. Uh, and this one had like 10 to $20 sales. So like I said, nothing too crazy. But there were, there were some cool books in there. 
And, uh, yeah. As always, it's always fun. It's kind of like playing a little bit of comic book lottery, right? Sometimes you win, sometimes you lose. I don't think I won really big this time, but I got some cool books and I'm happy about it. Um, yeah. All right, guys, that's what I have today. Remember, like, comment, and subscribe for your chance to win the, uh, the Absolute Carnage Murderos variant cover. And uh, yeah, if you want to help support the channel, click the link below and shop on my eBay store. All right, guys, we'll see you tomorrow and have a great day.